looking at? Camping at White Sandy Campground. Didn't we just do this Aww, like last week? sweetie. What? You forgot your leash. Uh, so we're trying to see if we can find a campsite here because we have our kayak in the back of the uh, truck and we're going to do some kayaking this weekend. We would like to. But we're going to go here and see if we can find some place to camp. Neither do I. And there's all your seal your tickets and yep, the posts. Yeah. Now that we know how to do this, that's this ticket. That one's taken already? Yep. Uh, ticket in there. All the t all the posts have tickets, dude. Sheesh, why do we have to learn that the hard way Break last time? That's very unfortunate. Sakarooski. How far are we away from the next campground? Pretty far. It's back to town and like down the interstate some, I think. Sheesh. Unless you want to check out well, that wasn't a campground. I don't think the black sand was a campground. Black sand was already full. But oh, we can go and check anyway. That's true. Yeah, that's an open spot. Just where is it? Camping, so that's taken. Camping permit. I would assume right here. How is it possible? Unless that's them. One, two, three, five, and six. Six is taken. Yeah? This is T5. This is T5. right here. And they already have one, so I bet you it's literally right here. So let's house. take it. Well, you're going to have to go. Right here? We don't have a choice. Well, I mean, the thing is, is, which is fine. I mean, if you want here, it's just, I'm fine with it. It's just not really camping. I mean, I want to be next to this, but look at everything. And if you want it, that's fine. Just go grab it. What would you like to do? Because in my opinion, we don't have a choice. So I would just take it. I don't think we have much of a choice either. My only other thought was to go someplace closer in town where we can leave and then go pick the kayak up and just come here for the day use. But it's up to you. If you just want to stick here, that's fine. You think it's, we'll have, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty area. You think we'll have more luck or less luck in town? I think we'll have just as much. I think it's. I think this is good for what we can get here. And we have no promises anywhere else. So I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just making sure you get, you're getting what you want. I'm fine with this. Okay. I, we don't have much of a choice. All right, well, we found our camping site. Uh, it's like the last one on planet Earth, as far as, as far as we could tell, and it was probably available because it's right next to the outhouse, which you can smell. Hi. Have you smelled it? A little. I got some whiffs. So, but we're, we're, we, we're here, and we got the truck all packed up, and oh, I feel like the rules are a bit more stringent here than... We've taken a turn. Yeah. Into a different world of camping. Well, and that's exactly the thing. I mean, this feels much more city campy. Yeah, you were. <clears throat> you said it felt like Florida, and this yeah. is nothing like I'm used to. You have people that's literally. Much more heat. What, what would you say this radius is? Like oh, a mile. A mile and a half. A half, a half mile, maybe. No, it's yeah. like a mile or a half mile yeah. radius. Nothing but have, RVs. And you probably have 26 to 30 sites packed mm -hmm. in this little area. Mm -hmm. Nothing that I'm used to. But we came here for a purpose, and there it is. Sheesh. And and last, I mean, like last time, we had our own little space that you could crawl into, and okay. and it was it was almost disguised in a way. Here it is incredibly open. Yeah. Um, the campsites that are obviously taken immediately are actually down by the water. You can see a tent right over there. And they go and span all the way down that way. Uh, but, I mean, you have neighbors six yards, nine yards uh, yeah, away no from idea. you. Not even. 20, and yards, uh, maybe. And yeah. so I could see people who like to hang out with other people would probably really enjoy this kind of a thing. And you, you kind of do, and I'm a loner, so. <laughs> yeah, but all the same. So I think we're going to try and get the fire started here in a bit. We got some different wood this time that we bought off of some gal in Great Falls. So I'm going to try and cut that up. But um, unlike our other location, there's no kindling around here in any way, shape, or form at all. So we're very much on our own in this scenario of trying to light this fire and keep it lit. But uh, and the other problem is I'm hungrier than last time. So 
I'm digging for some hot dogs and some s'mores, more so than usual. What? You can eat them cold if you have to. Hot dogs cold? Oh, that is so nasty. Okay, as always, I'm doing a terrible job documenting all this stuff, but I'm out here in front of the base camp uh, where I'm going to get my wife's kayak uh, and hopefully two PFDs and an extra paddle. And hopefully that'll get us all taken care of for today. Uh, they haven't quite opened yet. I'm waiting two minutes to kill. And then once they've killed those two minutes, then I'll be able to go in and get that taken care of. Hopefully, because they put it under my wife's name. So hopefully that won't cause any trouble. <laughs> But hopefully I'll be able to load those up and we'll get on the way. I was able to get some cash this morning and we'll be good to go. It is time to get out on the water and see what my wife thinks of kayaking. I hope she loves it. I really, really, really do. Because I do. It's my one chance to be on the water. Ugh. Uh, I hope we have a good time. And I hope that this weather turns out. It's a looking a little gray, but still seeing some blue skies. And the winds are pushing all the clouds that way, so I see nothing but blue over here. And I'm hoping that's the way it's going to be. It's 8.59. I'm going to go walk up to the front door and be one of those annoying people who's there first thing in the morning. And uh, go see if uh, we can get this kayak. What are you doing? I'm waiting for you because I'm afraid I'm going to float away. You're on the water with your phone. I know. That's not going to help. Taking pictures. Alright, fine. Pictures. Alright, we got her in the kayak. Now i got to try and get in this little guy. This is only a 9-footer. I haven't gotten in a 9-footer. I've gotten in a 12, and I've gotten in a 10. Haven't gotten in a 9. So let's see what happens here. All right. I am going to have to push you out, because I need a place to launch to. Here, take my camera and record, since you decide you're going to do it your way. No, I was asking. Why do you have to be so mean? Uh -oh. Nose is running like a faucet today. Hopefully it won't be much longer though. Alright, sorry, I'm not recording. There we go. Okay. You weren't recording? You, well, I am, but I'm not. Like, I wasn't pointing at you. Oh, well, thanks. Sorry. How come your shoes get to stay all clean? My shoes are soaking wet. Well, they're all clean though. Where are we going? Out? Nowhere. Oh. I'm tucking my glasses. Where, where are we going? <laughs> Tucking my glasses in your case. <clears throat> Do you want me to hold anything? Nope. All right. And I haven't set this thing up for me. Oh, oh God, careful. It's a nice butt view, honey. I love it. Huh? And it's a nice butt view. Uh-huh. Can you get in there? Yeah. Oh. Dang it, I'm not set up fogging me. up. What is it? Oh, yeah, I can't. Oh, there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it tips. It tips, and I know I'm not gonna tip. I know I just it, have. It will I, tip. Well, no, I just mean like it's not gonna like go hardcore. No. But I kind of forgot that it will go with me wherever I go. I'm I'm floating away. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want your camera? Sure. Just trying to get my thing set up. Hi, honey. Hi. Okay. Go. Go. <gasps> I will paddle you. <laughs> I just kind of want to chill. Oh my gosh, it, 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 it quivers. Oh, God. okay, I got be, be one with the kayak, Mandy. You can't, it, it jiggles. That's it. Just learn it. I know. Just learn it. Oh, we gotta come back. All right, I better get out there and get her before she gets herself lost. We haven't gotten very far just yet, but she's she's getting there. Right now she's she's doing the female maintenance and getting her shoes cleaned. I'm so proud of my wife. You look at her go. Looks like you're getting the hang of that real dang quick.
There's not much to learn for me. What are you talking about your dad? This is a pristine morning on the water so far. We really lucked out. We're very blessed. And she's off again. I gotta go chase after her. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Getting to hang out right next to the rocks, you know, just chilling. Keep asking ourselves why we didn't do this in Florida, but I think it's pretty obvious once you get a good look around. There's just more views. It's more pretty. It's not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Swampy? Check out this view. Look at those mountains in the distance. And, and look at my wife absolutely schooling me. I literally just tried to race her in, a, in like a drag race. That 10.5 is way faster than this. And I was sure I could slug her because I do this more often and I got a little bit more man, like muscle power, but oh no! She toasted my little white buns. Let's see you do this one-handed. <laughs> You're so amazing. That's right, the macho macho man. I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I'm saying I'm doing it. We have returned back to land. At least my wife has. I'm still in the water. Uh, so, as far as we can tell, length really does length really does matter. Uh, the basic premise is that our da our dagger that we have here is a 10.5, and this one here is our rental, a Zydeco. That's a nine. Uh, the 10.5 is uh, an Axis, and I think you really like the Axis, didn't you? I really do. So Mandy's really into the Axis, but. What we're thinking, and we're going to find out here in a few minutes, is that really the dagger axis is faster than the Zydeco, which is our rental, because of its length. And I would say my arms are probably a bit bigger than my wife's in lines of longer uh, and a bit more muscle. You're buffer. I'm um, maybe a bit sure. more buff. And I'm a, yet, I'm a weakling. And yet I could not really keep up with her in the Zydeco. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap with her here in a few minutes. We'll relax a couple seconds here catch our breath and relax a few. Are and we then, going back out now? Huh? Are we going back out now? When do you want to go out? Oh, I don't know. I didn't know what you were thinking. I thought you meant like a little while, but that's fine. Yeah. And so we'll go back out and give it a shot and see how she handles it. I don't think she's going to be able to handle it for very long. So we'll probably just stay over in this area and put it to the test and then see how she does and if we need to take a break. My shoulders are sore. My shoulders are sore. Back more than anything. Your back? You think it's because of your, your vest? Uh -uh. I just think it's because you're sitting in a small area and I'm not exactly skinny. Yeah. So, um, my, my thumbs are getting eaten up though. Look at my skin. Oh my gosh. You're raw. So I'm eating my skin up because I'm rubbing it on the paddle. Oh wow. So I'm trying to remember to put my thumbs on the outside instead of curling them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure if all, it's a, it's a habit, so. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sweetheart. What's your opinion on the Zydeco? No? No, is my opinion. Why not? I don't like it. Give us reasons. I don't like it. We're officially reviewing the Dagger Zydeco 9 footer. Why why don't you like it? I I I just I don't think it's as, lux as luxurious, which sounds stupid because it's kayak on water, but it's true. It does seem more stable, but I just feel like it doesn't move as well. I can't up with you. I can't keep straight as well. I spend more time trying to row it straight than I do just enjoying the ride. Yeah. And with this one, now that I've switched over to it, I feel like even with this keg up, I'm going straight. So the 10.5 is pretty directional, even with it up. And then as soon as you put it down, you're an arrow. So there you go. There's our official review, our comprehensive review. So we would like another dagger access. Please dagger. In search of for a decent price. Just yeah. saying. And considering that we paid about 320 
five dollars for our dagger access 10.5 which was an absolute blessing from someone who it was used but it was totally worth it and it was in good oh, condition so much so yeah if you happen to have a dagger access uh we're looking for 10.5 we're looking and uh yeah if you love us or hey dagger uh give us buzz we love you all right so a little bit of deja vu if you watched our last video you saw that we got bumped out of one of our camps and had to be moved to a whole nother one because Not by choice. We, we did something wrong with tickets and everything like that. Well, uh, once again, the gentleman walks up to us and he, he I'm sure he's going to give us grief. I see it coming. He walks up and he asks us, uh, so uh, which one of those is your tent? And I said, well, we're at T5. And he goes, oh, okay. So the guy at T2 left, you want it? Yes, we do! So we have this awesome view of the water. We are right here. We've been moved from up there on the hill next to the porta potty or whatever you call those things to lakefront property. Lakefront property. So, yeah, I love it. First off, thank you, Lord, because I blame him for everything that positive happens to us. But then also, thank you, of course, to the gentleman who uh, was so generous to let us know that the spot was available. I think that's great, and I do think it was definitely a lot of God because we were just lucky to be coming back at the right time. Oh, boy, yeah. That was, like, perfect timing. We just yeah. got done with kayaking and happened to be going back to our tent site, and he just happened to be there collecting, I think, the old ticket from this spot Yeah. and let us know, hey, if you guys want it. <laughs> yes, we do, <laughs> per my husband. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She she was – I actually saw her going, I don't know if I want to move. I'm like, yes, you want to move again. So, yeah, we definitely moved. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is load up the kayaks into the car and obviously going to town looking like this because everyone wants to see me shirtless. Yeah, no. Um, but we're going to head into town and we're going to get some Nagoya, which is like our favorite sushi spot in town. And then uh, maybe we'll try and give these guys a call. Since we've learned so much about these... Um, uh, Zydeco. The, the Zydeco's and the daggers, and they're both daggers, but the Axis, one yeah. is an Axis and one's a Zydeco, which we've stated so many times in this video already. We're gonna maybe, maybe see if they happen to have a different size and see if that makes any kind of, yes, you can enjoy the view, that's okay. I know you're really stuck on everything behind me and don't care about a thing that I'm saying right now, but maybe we'll see if they have something slightly bigger that might be able to keep up with the other one. So this is really good information because we're gonna be heading to Yellowstone here pretty soon. And when we go, we're renting a kayak uh, on our way, and we're taking them with us. Of course, you're going with us too, but we would like to get one <laughs> that will work. And this isn't quite fast enough for us. I can't keep up with it, and my wife hates its guts. So yeah, we're gonna see what we can do about that. So yeah, we're gonna head into town, and we're bringing you with us. Yee! We are on our way now to the base camp, which you saw that video already. We were already at base camp once today. Um, I am, um, call them up. They do have another kayak. Except it's 15 feet long. Our bed is a four foot bed? Yeah. Something like that. So, oh, whoa. this is either going to go very well or it's going to go very bad. And that's a line that I use a lot in my life. Uh, you are coming up here on about 1.4 of, of, of 0 0.4 miles to hang that. Uh, oh, that was last shot. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're going to go over here to the base camp and see if we can fit this thing in the back of the truck. And, uh, and apparently it's much more narrow and it's much longer. And, uh, I'm, I, I will be the one to ride in it. I don't think Mandy's going to want to ride in it. Um, but at this point in time, since we both really aren't a fan of the Zydeco, sorry to dagger, just, uh, we, we've tasted the fine palate that is the Axis 10.1. So, Turn right onto North Blast I'm talking. Um, so since we've tasted of this wonderful thing, now we need to go and try something a little different because there's just nothing that beats the Axis 10.1. So anyway, we're going to go In and... 1.2 miles, take a slight left turn onto Cruise Street. She interrupts a lot. She really does. So we're going to go try this out and <laughs> see if we can fit in the back of the truck. And then if we can fit it in the back of the truck, then we're going to go get us some sushi. That doesn't look funny at all. You see that? That that's completely. I mean, that everyone does that, honey. That's a normal thing. That's a very normal thing. I don't think it's big enough. No? Should we done the 25 footer? I mean, we could have done that. At this point in time, and you go from really enjoying the sushi to 
can feel like you're just heaving it in to get it all gone. <laughs> really good. Really spicy. Ooh, not a lot to eat. Two plates full. Well, the water is gorgeous, and to be able to sit right here next to my beautiful wife and be able to enjoy it, literally right here, that's a win in my book. Uh, I've been out there for... Probably a couple hours. A couple hours? Two hours, maybe? Just to, uh, twiddling around. The Twiddling. <laughs> this 15-footer is a piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> it has its merits, but not for a newbie. The the axis is just the bomb. And the wind is probably not helping me state this, but uh, the, the axis is just amazing. It's it's an excellent, excellent kayak. Uh, and so, <laughs> like we said, if you have one that you're trying to sell, let us know, because we need a second one. And obviously we can't quite afford them new. But, oh my gosh, it would be so great to have two of those, wouldn't it? If you're selling it in Montana. If you're selling it in Montana. <laughs> we'll drive to get it. Or some state somewhat close to Montana? Oh, Montana. No. Okay, time to start up the fire pit again and see. Hot dogs. Bring on the hot dogs. I admit, I feel like I'm working on a... What, what, is, what is that? Uh, dreads. With how my hair feels right now. Feels like I'm just kind of getting it really, really messy so that it'll go into a dread mode. All right, it's 10 o'clock, uh, roughly. My watch is about to go off for 10 o'clock. I have been sneezing all day long, and I think it's finally worn me out a little bit. So I am in our lovely little tent with my wife, who's also trying to get comfy, and uh, we have neighbors. Uh, uh, not quite as planned as you hear her shushing. They're an interesting bunch of people with, I think, about four kids. Four or more. And, um... We're not kid people. We're not kid people. I mean... We are, but we're not. I like kids, but I... I yeah, not quite kid people. So, either this is going to... I use that line a lot. It's either going to go real good or real bad. Uh, it's really hard to say at this point. So, we're going to try to get some sleep and see if we can do a little more kayaking tomorrow. Otherwise, we're just going to head on home. Uh, we'll see. We'll get there. When we get there. We'll see you in the morning. You are live, my love. Am I live? Oh, yeah, you are live. All right. Thank you for doing that, hon. She says she loves me and that uh, thanks for putting up with me. And I'm like, you're welcome. Take the camera. <laughs> so... Um, Here's a quick little update. We really have not done a, an excellent job in any way, shape, or form of, of filming the last day that we were out here. Um, there wasn't much to film. There wasn't much to film, but there was a lot going on, unfortunately. Uh, we went out on a 15-foot kayak. I think we already covered a lot of that in some other videos, didn't we? Probably. We already talked about the 15-footer and how it compares to the other ones or whatever. Don't know for sure. Okay, so anyway, we go to bed last night, and I wake up in the middle of the night, and I hear this. I thought I was dreaming, but I hear this guy just garbling and, and just saying a million different things that didn't make any sense at all. Gibberish. Gibberish. And yelling and screaming and hurting himself, and apparently, unfortunately, there is a gentleman who either we would assume that he was tweaking what, what would be called tweaking in, in Montana which is meth isn't that meth I think it's anything it's just when you've got drugs on board and you're and coming you're down so, a little bit you're tweaking off of them so, or you're tweaking on drugs so. yeah it looked more like tweaking to me in drugs yeah. but yeah. unfortunately we, we talked to this guy's brother and apparently well, you talked to his brother and apparently he uh, uh, may have drunk too much but there there, there's a lot of evidence that would say otherwise, I would suggest. I would suggest um, it was drugs, but they didn't say he drank yeah. too much. And he, of course, never does that. It's very rare. But it's not to judge anybody, but they, they didn't necessarily look unaccustomed yeah. to drinking. So yeah. um, we were more worried about the kids that were with him. Check that out. That's Fla how you go down the... Flamingos! Flamingos! Flamingoing on the, on the, on the on river. The on the water. You can't really see it, but they <laughs> on the water. So, um... That kept us up quite a bit, and admittedly, a uh, admittedly, I was up with my bear spray, uh, 
ready for him to come over and check out our tent and then start giving us grief. I'm just going to shoot him square in the face. Yep. And thankfully, we didn't have to do that. Um, so, and then we packed up. We took the 15-foot kayak. We put it on the roof of the truck and put our kayak in the back. And that went, I'd say, pretty smooth. And got that back over to base camp and uh, had some lunch at Qdoba. Now we're going to head home. And... That's we're, our day. That that's our day. We're or looking Sunday. Yeah, and we're looking forward to getting home because both of us could uh, really, really use some showers and get cleaned up a little bit after three days. But I'd say, to be completely honest, honey, I think our hygiene was pretty decent over those three days. I didn't think it was too bad. We yeah. took a few little baby wipes and stuff, and we were good. Yeah, and lots of deodorant. <laughs> yeah, lots of deodorant. But we worked hard, or we yeah. played hard, I guess we would say. And yeah. It was totally worth it. So. Uh, coming up in two weeks, once again, I intend to bring you along as long as this camera hangs out for me. Uh, we're going to head to uh, Yellowstone. And when we go to Yellowstone, we're taking, of course, the, the Axis 10.5 with us. We need to make up a name for it. If we can name Richard, then we got to name our, our Axis. I almost good. said Sheila, but I don't think Sheila would appreciate no. that. <laughs> well, maybe we should call this one Axis, and then if we get another Axis, we'll call that one an ally. The Axis right. is not allies. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so uh, what we're gonna do is we're renting a uh, another uh, one that's an 11 footer for me and she'll take that one. And we're gonna go through Yellowstone. We're gonna take you with us on that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but also hopefully when we get home today, there's going to be something hopefully waiting on the step unless someone stole it from us. But we have a, a six person tent waiting for us uh, that's going to be the upgrade to the tent that we've used for the past two trips. That has worked perfectly well for us, but something a little bit larger I think will be a little better for us because we take a lot of stuff and stuff in there, don't we? Yep. So, okay, her arms are getting tired, so it's time to say goodbye. Uh, you already know the rest of this travel home stuff, so we'll leave you be. Uh, by the way, Dagger, uh, we need another Axis, and we uh, would love to brag about you guys some more, and you guys are awesome. Love, love, love your product. The Axis 10.5 is truly the best, and we really, really enjoy it. So, that's pretty cool. That's another Life of Thrive, and we'll see you guys in about two weeks for our trip to Yellowstone. Bye.